Welcome everybody to another tutorial on React Native. Today we will be building a complete React Native app from scratch using Expo. This app we'll be building today will allow us to search for beers from a remote database and display the beers in our application. Things that we need in today's uh, tutorial are going to be Node.js that has to be installed in your machine along with React Native and Expo. For those of you new to React Native and Expo, I have a video linked in the description that will help you install it. So this is the app in front of us. We can click on search beers. It takes us to another screen where we can enter the name of the beer we want to search. So let's enter Corona. It searches the data for the beer from the remote database and brings it to us, which we format and display on our screen. We'll also build this functionality of adding the beer to our favorites by clicking on this button here, and then we can access the beer from our favorites. A shout out to the guys at brewery.db whose database I'm going to be using. I'll also help you guys set that up in this tutorial. So let's begin. So let's start by creating a new project. Open up Expo. Click on create new project. And we'll call the project find beer. So there we have the project created. Let's quickly come here and change this over to localhost so that our app refreshes much faster. And let's test this out. So there we can see that the app is working. Let's open up the project in our favorite code editor. In my case, that's Visual Studio Code. So let's first install the dependencies that we require for this project. The three main dependencies that we'll use. The first one is called React Navigation. It's to create a navigation system within our application that consists of the stack navigators and the tab navigators. The next dependency is called Axios. It's a library that helps us make HTTP requests. There are some inherent benefits over the default fetch request that's there in React Native. So we'll use this library. The last one is a UI library called Native Base. Basically, it has inbuilt components which make our life easier in styling our application. So let's open up the terminal within the folder of our application. Let's install Native Base. Next, we'll install Axios. And lastly, let's install React Navigation. There are three independencies are installed. We can confirm that by coming into Visual Studio Code and going to the package.json. There we see Axios, Native Base, and React Navigation are installed. Now that we have our dependencies installed, let me just walk you through what the app is going to look like. So here I've just made a file called folder layout. We're basically going to have two main screens in our application, which is the home screen and the search tab navigator screen. The home screen is going to link to the search tab navigator, which inside it will have two tabs. One is the search tab and one is the favorites tab. In our folder layout, what we'll have is we have the assets folder already created for us over here. In that, there'll be a home screen folder, which will contain the background image for the home screen. And we'll create a components folder, which will have one home folder for the home screen and one search folder for the search tab navigator screen. And similarly, matching the layout of the screens, we have a search tab file and a favorites tab file for each screen. These other files that you see over here are basically reusable components, which we split out from the search tab file. So let's start creating our folders. So in the root, let's create the first folder, which is components. Inside components, we'll create two folders, which is the home folder and the search folder. Inside the home folder, we'll have the file home screen.js. And inside the search folder, we'll have the file search tab navigator.js. So let's leave the files to that. We'll add the further files as and when we need them. So let's start with our root file, which is the app.js. This is the entry point for any app. Here we can get rid of the styles and also the export default class. What we do here is we'll import the stack navigator. And let's create our app. So we have a root level stack navigator 
which has two screens. First one is the home screen. And the second one is the search tab navigator screen. We have to import these two, which we'll just do. And let's just export the app. Now let's open up the home screen. Inside the home screen, let's create a class called home screen. Here we can, we're just importing React and component from React and view text and style sheet from React Native. Here we just pass a text which says hi from the home screen. And in the search tab navigator, we'll do the similar thing. And we won't return anything here because we cannot access the screen yet. Let's test this out. So there we have it, it's saying hi from the home screen. Some of you may get a red screen here with this error. Cannot find entry file node underscore modules. So what you basically need to do is you just run npm install inside your app folder. And if that doesn't work, just restart your expo project, close out the simulator and share the app on the simulator again. That should do the trick. It seems like it's some issue with the version of Node that you have in your machine. So now let's go ahead and build our layout. Come to the home screen.js, get rid of the high from the home screen, and add a button here. Let's import the button from native base. Let's add the text search beers. Also, let's make this button block and let's set the style to white. So a button is created. Let's add a style sheet here. Let's create a class called home screen view. Give it a flex of one and justify content of flex end. Let's add this to the view. And this will be style here. So there we see a button is coming right at the bottom just like we wanted. If we click it, nothing happens. So for that, let's add an on press to our button. We have an on press here. When we click the button, it navigates us to the search tab navigator. So it uses this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and search tab, tab navigator, which it gets from here. So let's test it out. As we see, it takes us to the search tab navigator. Coming back to the home screen. Now we need an image as the background image. What I've done is I've already copied the image into the assets folder and called it home screen background, like we discussed. For you, I'll leave the link of the image in the description and you can download it. Let's get the image. So we need to require the image from the folder. Here we need to create another view and we need to position the image absolutely so that we can get the image as a background. So let's put a view here. Inside the view, we let the image. And 
I will give a style to the image flex of 1 and height of null and width of null and here the parent what we do is we'll give a position of absolute top of 0 left of 0 and a height and width of 100% make sure that the percentage is in quotes and here the background should be in curly brackets and as we can see we have an imported image so let's import image here we'll import it from react native itself and as we save this out we can see our background images come but we have this header bar over here which we do not need at least for the home screen so let's remove that react navigation has some properties that we can set to change the behavior of the header so let's set that. Set the header to null in the navigation options. And there you can see we have the image coming up. We have the button. If we click the button, it takes us to the search tab navigator.